first, the much-anticipated documentary about the Beckhams was released just hours ago, uh, where Victoria has opened up about the impact that David's alleged affair in 2003 had on their lives. Would you say that was the hardest time in your marriage? A hundred percent. It was the hardest period for us because it felt like the world was against us. And here's the thing, we were against each other. I get sold overnight. The next minute, I am in a city. I don't speak the language. More importantly, I didn't have my family. And at that time, we needed, we needed to fight for each other. We needed to fight for our family. What happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? Incredible. Incredible. In my house. In my house. Did I resent David? If I'm being totally honest, yes, I did. It was probably, if I'm being honest, the most unhappy I have ever been in my entire life. Mm. Well, that's Ooh. the most candid I think we've we've heard the Beckhams being in that. Clearly, there was a rift, wasn't there, Judy? There was something. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How easy is it to get back from that? Obviously, they have, haven't they? Yeah, I think resentment is one of those things that is a real deep issue because I find that it's there's some um, unresolved issue that's been laying dormant for all that, those years or times and then it, it just keeps coming up again. Um, you know, <laughs> resentment can come in all different ways, whether it's from cheating, whether it's from breaking your trust, whether it's from deception. For me, um, as I've got older, Cheating is not the main thing. It's when the trust is broken. So if I feel like I can't be vulnerable around you or I, you can't provide a safe space for me emotionally, I feel like that would place a resentment. And it just feels like I'd get to a stage where I've, I've changed. It's made something change. It'd be too hard for me to go back. I'd either always be throwing word at you or uh, putting you in a situation where I'm questioning you. And, and I just don't want to live like that. So you think there comes a point that there's no going back? I think, I think if you're honest within yourself, personally, I think it's about looking within yourself, because, yes, it's a partnership, but if you're not going to put your 100% in because you don't trust the person no more or you feel differently, then what's the point? You know, don't get me wrong, cheating, I think... For me, it's something that I don't want to and wouldn't want to tolerate, but I think I'd be more open to a discussion if... God forbid my partner cheated and came to me straight away and yeah. said, look, I've messed up, yeah. something's happened, then those long months of deception. I personally think there's so many uh, times before you're both naked that you could not cheat. I mean, oh, no, let's be real. It, you, it's from that first eye movement, it's from the time when you think they swap numbers and then that call at 10, that call at 1am when you know you're with yeah. your partner. There's so many moments before that where you could think of me or the person that should make you think mm. this love is stronger. And if it's not, then we need to think about ourselves yeah. and our self-worth. Yeah. And <laughs> I mean, obviously, we have to be clear in this in this documentary. They do not say that David cheated. No, you know? I mean that's as candid yeah. as they get. But would that be a deal breaker for you, Jane? Um, yeah, I think. I mean, in that particular respect, I think she seems to be talking about general resentment yeah. anyway. In terms of the fact that obviously his career took him away, even though he didn't have any choice in the matter, and and you know just the the sort of attention that that all brought on the family, because probably up to that point they were, you know able to have some semblance of a private life. But for me, the word you just used there is input the, the, the word partnership. Yeah. So I think any relationship is a partnership. And when and you're a unit, and then the minute that you feel that there's something else going on outside of that partnership that you're not either privy to or that you're out of control of, it's a very, very thin thread of trust, I think, yeah. in any relationship. And the minute that gets brave, broken, it's very hard to glue it back together again. And, and we, did, um, we did it on this show, actually. I think it was last year. A guy, he may even have come on. I wasn't on, but anyway. A guy called Matthew Frey, who wrote a book called This Is How a Marriage Ends. And he was furious that his wife had ended their marriage. And he was like, I don't understand it. I don't... And then eventually, when he thought about it, he realised that for years she'd been saying things to him. And he, he wrote a piece. It was very headline-catching. It was like... I kept leaving things on the sink instead of putting them in the dishwasher. That does annoy me. And <laughs> me but that's what he said. And my wife left me. He kind of, it was like a, yeah. you know. Yeah. But he said it's because repeatedly she was saying, C can, you, can you just put them in the yeah. dishwasher? Yeah. And I kept doing that. So he said, what I'm saying to her is, A, I'm not listening to you, and B, 
I don't respect it. I'm my You're time's right. better than yours, so yeah. you can put it in the dishwasher yeah. for me. Yeah. yeah. So he said that is what made our relationship break down. So that's trust as well. It is yeah, trust. It, it, is. it sounds yeah. daft. Can but I that just is say trust. to Ian, when you eat your apples, do not leave the core on the coffee table. <laughs> or I am leaving you. <laughs> I, I think the resentment probably became because he was in another country with a very attractive PA. She was at home with the children, looking yeah. after the children and everything. And so I think the resentment probably came there because she was having to be mum to everyone, looking after everyone and everything, and he was over there being well looked after and that. Well, I mean, the thing is, interestingly, I mean, we have to be difficult. We have to be careful about what we go into with the Beckhams because they've told us what they've told us and no more. Yeah. But it wouldn't appear that he did feel that happy where he no. was. He actually felt quite isolated. He would probably have preferred to be within the family. And I think that's often the problem, too, is trying to see it from the other person's point of view yeah. and we do always tend to see things from our oh, own well. point of view I mean as it, you know in a previous a relationship I mean god a million years ago um you know someone was unfaithful to me but actually on reflection I take responsibility for that to a certain extent because well I take responsibility <gasps> was that sore Judy <laughs> No, 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 I'm not allowing you to take responsibility. No, for that. no, no. I, I take a level of responsibility for the breakdown of the relationship because when I look back on it, I can see, you know, where the cracks were appearing. And, and I had my part in it. And I think you always have to be able to see the other person's point of view rather than I was wronged all the time. Because, you know, sometimes it is that, but it's not always that. No. It's a communication. It takes two to tango. It does yeah. take two to tango. But whoever. That was was a very, very long time ago, oh, obviously. And ago. it wasn't massively long term. It didn't involve children. Mm. I mean, no, but it, it, they, was, it was a real relationship. They have yeah. to surely say this, this, that this that you're doing is a problem for me and it is making me want to not, you know, yeah. be in your company it's or about whatever. Not having an excuse, not yeah. using an excuse. I think it's... going off and being unfaithful yeah. is. But you know what a counsellor would always say, and I mean, I'm not knocking counselling because I know it's really great for lots of people, is it communicate. And every time I hear that, I always sort of smile to myself and think, that is the most difficult thing. If it was so easy for couples to communicate, then there wouldn't be any kind of problem. that's why we have to keep doing, doing it and so keep hard. saying it and yeah. keep reminding ourselves. Worse, if you can't communicate with each other, at least communicate with yourself so you're being honest about yeah. this relationship is not working. <laughs> yep. You listen to your Auntie Judy. You're, you're <laughs> <right>. <laughs> not Auntie, cousin and sister. <laughs> oh, oh, <no. laughs>